so once again good evening everyone so as sugam sir has yes yes good evening so as sugam sir has told that you all are working hard to crack this examination iit jam physics examination 2022 and we know that some of the students are preparing from last 6 month some are preparing from one year and some of the students are even preparing for two years so it means you have invested so much of your energy and time to crack this exam that's why the purpose of this session is how to utilize all your efforts that you have done so far and for that these upcoming days are very crucial for your preparation yes or no yes, each sir. each day is going to be very important so you must make some strategy how to crack this exam and what to do in upcoming days so let's see what should be your strategy so i have divided this in three parts as you can see how to revise before exam means in upcoming days how you should revise your syllabus clear and then we have to see what should be the, the strategy to follow during exam condition and we will also see what are the do's and don'ts one day before exam is it clear to everyone yes, yes sir. sir so let's start with first how to revise before exam so of course you are going for iit jam exam so point number 1 is study according to your iit jam physics syllabus and revise your own notes as you can see from day 1 we are saying please prepare your own notes yes or no we are saying that you have to prepare your own notes and that should be your single yes, source sir. of study because in last moment you cannot see video lectures or books you have to revise your own notes so please stick to that is it clear to everyone yes sir yes, yes sir. sir so next one is don't try to study anything new just focus what you have already studied and revise it you don't have to study anything new because you will be in panic if you will try to focus on some new concepts so whatever you have studied please focus on it clear yes then in last moments in last few days you can give special attention to some difficult topics or some formulas that are difficult that you may often get forget so you should give special attention on those topics then please practice on previous year iit jam physics questions as much as you can aap jitna jyada previous year practice karoge aapko utna help hoga theek hai and i think aap sabhi practice kar rahe hoge is it clear yes yes sir yes sir also attempt full length test paper in these upcoming days focus on the full length test paper we are conducting it and what is the purpose of this test series full length test series it is three fold one is you can build speed and accuracy second thing is you can avoid silly mistakes that you will do that you may do in exam and third one is you will feel exam like pressure and that that will help you to manage yourself in exam hall clear yes sir so yes, you sir. have to remember these points in next few yes, days sir. please stick to these points now also please see in online exam you will get virtual calculator and that is different than your normal calculator its functioning is also slightly different so please practice it don't practice on your normal calculator please practice in these days you have to practice on the online virtual calculator i have shown you the screenshot of the virtual calculator we will share it also and at the end sir will also explain you the functioning so please practice on the online virtual calculator theek hai yes sir okay yes, sir now see what should be the strategy to follow during exam condition when you are in exam hall how you will perform 
So I have already discussed that when question appears on the screen, you can easily categorize it in three category. And what are those? That is easy, difficult, or not studied. Easy questions are those that you can apply direct formula and in three, four steps, you will get the answer. Difficult question, it means they have lengthy calculation and you have to use some logic and also you have to apply reasoning. And not studied that you haven't focused till now. So you have to avoid those questions. You, if you have not studied, please skip those questions. So first attempt easy questions only for all sections. And if time permits, then try for difficult questions. This point is clear or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If, even if you attempt easy question, you are going to qualify. And you have to avoid the silly mistakes in these easy questions also. And lastly, you can go for the difficult questions. Clear? As I have already told you that ignore those questions that you haven't encountered during your preparation. Don't waste time because you won't get anything if you invest your time in those questions. And if you have prepared well, then you know which question is easy, which question is difficult, and which question you have not studied. That you can easily identify. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now see, in IIT Jam Physics question, there are three sections. Section A is multiple choice question. Section B is multiple select question. More than one option is correct. In MCQs, only one option is correct. And section C is numerical answer type question. In numerical answer type question, you have to enter some numerical value that may be some integer or decimal value. So uh, we will recommend you that you should first attempt section A, that is multiple choice questions. There will be total 30 MCQs, 10 questions of one marks each and 20 questions of three marks each. So we recommend you go for MCQs first. And in multiple choice question, there is negative marking also. So don't guess the answer with proper reasoning and calculation. You can take the correct one. Is it clear? First, you should attempt multiple choice questions. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Then we will suggest you, you should go for numerical answer type question after section A. Attempt section C, there will be 20 net questions. Again, 10 question of one marks and 10 question of 20 marks each. And lastly, you should go for section B that is multiple select question. There will be 10 multiple select question and that carries two marks each. In this, you have more than one option is correct. So according to our recommendation, go for section A first, then section C and then section B. So that strategy you should follow during exam condition. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Now see, let us continue those points that we were discussing. What should be the strategy during exam condition? As I have already told you, never do blind guess. Always choose your answers with proper reasoning and calculation and avoid silly mistakes, especially in easy question, probability of silly mistakes is higher. So whenever you have easy question, just ensure that there is no silly mistakes in those questions. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes. And sir. also never be biased towards any problem or any options because sometimes in exams, they will change you some notations. Let's say you have used notation alpha in the exam and they have changed. So don't be biased. Always see what type of notation they have given or if they have changed something. So given uh, you have to study the question properly and accordingly, you can answer. Don't be biased towards any question or option. Okay. And let's see, one more important thing is, please make sure that you have ticked the correct option. Even if you have calculated the right answer, but you have ticked the incorrect option. So you won't get any marks. So you have to be attentive. So tick the correct option. You can cross check the question and answer and then tick it. Clear? Yes, sir. And you have to utilize complete three hours. 
so that you can optimize the marks. Use complete three hours. So that is the strategy that you have to follow during exam conditions. Now, last part is what are the do's and don'ts one day before exams? And we will take some other points that you have to do during the exam condition also. So last day exam, you have to be relaxed. And again, you should confirm that, yes, that is the date of exam, time and venue of exam. You have to confirm it. Arrange a watch, pens, pencil and eraser. Keep your admit card in place and also find the exact location of the examination center. Clear? In last, yes, in last day, please avoid any quarrel, fight, argument from anyone because that may create stress. So you have to avoid it. Avoid too much discussion with friends. You have to relax. Make so sure you have a good night's sleep before the exam. D-Day means that, that is your exam day. That is the important day of any event. So for you, D-Day is your exam day. On the exam day and also before exam in upcoming days, please take nutritional diet, avoid junk food, focus on healthy foods only because health is also very important, very crucial for your exam. Please reach the examination center at least three minutes before the commencement of the exam. You have to be confident on the exam day. You have to be patient and keep yourself motivated. Then surely success will be yours. So good luck, everyone. And thank you very much.